So we don't actually want to echo out the IP addresses, we just want to use them inside here. So I'm going to create um, a variable called IP um, single and that's equal to each one. So we can use this uh, variable to check um, whether the user's IP address, which is up here, corresponds to one already in here. So we can say if, oh, we can say if IP address is equal to, so using our double equals comparison operator, is equal to IP single, do something, otherwise do something else. Now, in actual fact, we don't need this if else statement. We just need an if statement because if the if the um, IP address is in there, uh, actually, let's think about this logically. If the IP address is in there, we don't want to record the IP. So what we can say is um, if IP address doesn't equal IP single. So essentially what we're doing is we're looping through this ip.txt file, we're checking if the user's IP address is, to this, is equal to this one first, and then we're checking if it's equal to this one. Now if it is equal to this one, um, or if it's not equal rather, we're going to say found equals uh, false. Uh, otherwise we're going to say, let's come back up here, found equals true. Now the reason we do this is because we're in a loop here, we don't want to increment the value of the uh, count.txt file inside a loop, because if we increment the value of something in a loop, it's going to be performed over and over and over again. So we want to create a boolean value called found, which is going to be equal to either true or false. Then what we can do is under this for each, um, under this for each here, we can then say if found equals false and in here what we can do is uh, increment count.txt value so let's just test this first of all we can echo here uh, IP not found and in the case of the IP address not being found we can increment the value of count so let's just test this works refresh IP not found oh it should have been uh, Okay, so I think the problem here is that we've declared this outside our function. So what we need to do is if we pop this inside of our function, just in there, um, and we refresh, oh no. Okay, so let's try and determine the problem with this. Let's echo this out first of all and refresh. So let's have a look inside our ip.txt. That's on the first line there. So we'll go through and debug this carefully. Probably just something that I've completely missed. So echo that out. And that's 127.1.1. So um, if that is equal to my IP, IP address underscore address doesn't equal IP single found equals false found equals true oh okay I understand so if it is found we need to say if it's not found we need to say found equals oh yeah false uh, otherwise found equals true and we need to say if found equals true and we run this uh, it means our IP address has been found. However, if I was to remove uh, this IP address, we can keep this one and refresh. Oh no, okay, hold on, let's take another look at this. Let's uh, pop that back in there. So this is probably great that I've made a mistake. You can follow me um, to see what I've done wrong. So if IP address doesn't equal IP single, um, found equals false. If found equals false, is equal to false. Uh, right, okay, I think I've sort of worked out the problem. Now, I'll tell you why this isn't working first of all. Uh, I've, had a, I've had a little look at it um, and, I've, and I've sort of worked out what's wrong. So, what's happening is, is we're, because we're looping through every IP address, first of all we're going to set the boolean found uh, found the the variable found which is a boolean to true and then what we're going to do is um, 
yeah so okay so IP address doesn't equal IP single let's change this to equals equals and we'll change this around so it's just easier to uh, grasp so if the IP address in the uh, file does equal the IP address of the user then found equals true so therefore if found equals true we want to say already um, or we'll just say found for now so otherwise we want to say false however when we go through again it's going to check the second one and put this to false automatically we're not keeping the same value of found therefore underneath each one of these we want to use break so we're only finding the IP address and then breaking um, in fact we can say uh, false keep that as false that's absolutely fine so now if we were to refresh it says found because it's found within here so all break is doing is if it is found we don't need any more information so we're breaking out of this current loop it's for each here okay so obviously if we were to put a break here and it wasn't found we would break out straight away we want to keep going through the file until it's found so logically looking at this I was confused uh, and you may be at this stage but just have a good look and try and understand why we break out